Today we complete the Via Colombiani, picking up where we left off the last time. The route takes us out of the Clannyboy Estate and along Clannyboy Avenue, down towards Helens Bay train station. I would like to dedicate this video to the memory of my brother, Andrew Fisher, who tragically died in an accident at this station in 2004. Folks, what is happening? Here we are back on the Camino de St. Columbanus or the Camino de Colomba, a Via Colombiana, which is basically the last stage of a pilgrimage journey all the way from County Carlo to Bangor and County Down, right here in Northern Ireland. As you'll be aware, the last time we ran out of time because we actually started quite late, so we had to cut it short, but we're retaking up our steps from where we left off the last time. So right now we're just entering onto Clanny Boy Avenue, which runs around the back of Blackwood Golf Course, leading from Clanny Boy Estate down to Helens Bay train station, which we'll show you later on in the video. It's been snowing, so it's a little bit icy. As always, you come on the journey with us. You don't have to travel far from your home to backpack. This is about two miles from where I grew up. Not very far at all. We're exploring the cultural heritage of North Down here. The town of Bangor actually is twinned with Bergenz in Austria where he set up one of his monasteries. This is where he essentially learned his trade, if you like. Bangor Abbey was known as one of the most strict monasteries in Ireland at the time. The Via Columbiani is supposedly the second largest religious pilgrimage in Europe after the Camino de Santiago, which is much more familiar. We've just reached one of the crossing points. Got to cross the main roads. Use your green cross code. Look left, look right. Always use the green cross code because I won't be there when you cross the road. Plenty of little resting points along the way, should you wish to rest your weary legs. What time is it? What time is it? Beer o'clock, look at this. Yo! Good old Big Stones has provided us with some refreshments here. So, Hi. 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 He's doing the Columban walk, are you? Yeah. Salancia, salute, Astrovia. So folks, we're just about to approach the Helens Bay train station. Now this was built in a Scottish Brunel style. You see, it's probably one of the most elegant train stations on the Bangor Belfast line. In fact, anywhere in the Northern Ireland network, I would argue. So this is the way down to Helens Bay itself. It's all a little bit worn out. There's little slots, like little arrow slots and stuff. Look at that. Not sure if I can read that keep the bridge intact, got some supports. See just here in this undergrowth, this would have been where the horse carriages would have come down from Clannyboy Estate. It's been bricked up, but this is where the staircase would have been up until the station. We've left a little space here for mice or whatever. Let's have a look inside actually, look. You can have a look, I can't see. So if you're getting your eyebrows waxed or you're getting your Botox, you might have, be able to have a look inside. The station was constructed in 1863 and was built privately by Frederick Hamilton Temple Blackwood, the first Marquess of Dufferin and Ava, 
and is probably the only station in Ireland built by a private individual. So this is the original station building here, it's now a beauty salon. Go and get our eyebrows done. Yeah, you can see the old staircase behind there. So yeah, it's a very unique station. Hello. They've been very kind to let me in and have a look around. This would have been obviously the waiting area for the station. So it is now a beauty salon. So yeah, this is where you get your eyebrows and that sort of stuff done. That's quite nice. Very relaxing, very soothing. And this would have been probably where the staircase takes you down to the coach rooms, the carriage, where the carriages would have went from. There's a little turret. Thank you. Bye bye. bye. That's why we're hoping to get some beers because what time is it? What time is it? What time is it, Lucky? Right, let's get a wee car yet. Hello, how's it going? Good, yourself? Good, yes. Craft beers, what have you got? Got those eyes all in, your, right in front of you there, and then you've got a load of stuff just here as well. Let's go for an APA. Now, what else we get here? Let's try something new folks, let's go for a small axe and a hazy IPA. This place, this little treasure trove of alcohol, all this wine, you've got everything really haven't you? Gin, wine, spirits, beer. Well folks, I'm just going to go for the beer because I'm all about the beer. What is that? That comes to a total of So folks, if you're in Callan's Bay, you can call in for some refreshments. Stuff to get you through the day. That's it. So anyway, what's your name? Jason. Jay. Jason Mark. Nice to meet you. Yes. Let's backpack Helens Bay, folks. It's down to the beach. Did you bring your swimming shorts, Brian, did you? I did, yes. People actually do go swimming here. When I was running this morning down at Crawfordsburg, there was people actually swimming. So all year round here, wind, rain, or shine. What do you think of that? Would you swim in cold water? Good for the health, I'm told. We go to the places no one else goes to. Where are you guys from? India, yeah, get it, India, yeah. Woo. <laughs> well, folks, this channel is all about pushing boundaries, so we're gonna gonna break the law here, folks. No time it is. It's beer o'clock. That's right. Better make sure I'm overseas before I release this video, otherwise uh, the council will be after me. Cheers folks, Salancha. So as I alluded to there folks, this is an area popular with sea swimmers. There's actually two guys in the water there at the minute. I wouldn't fancy it, to be honest. I swam here in July one year and it was really, really cold. <laughs> Hey, watch this cow, boys and girls. Nothing better than the sea air here in County Down, Allen's Bay. It's only when you return from abroad you really appreciate the true beauty of this country. So, yes, I'm privileged to have grown up here.
We're just making our way past Brompton, which in the summertime you can see a lot of people swimming here down by the Brompton Bay. So we're almost on our way into Bangor Centre, finishing our Camino to St Columbus. We're at Wilson's Point, folks. That tells you how far we are to the little places. The Knock of War Memorial, which is over there. Um, Green Island, 10 miles, Kai Fergus. And the Mall of Kintyre, 43 miles, so we're only 43 miles away from Scotland. Big stone! There she is, the city of Bangor, look at that. What a beautiful sight. Big lovely signs, giving you some advice. Lovely big signs from Ards and North Downborough Council. Bangor is one of the only cities in Northern Ireland to not feature their name and their council, what do you think of that? Should it be Bangor City Council? Bangor and Ards City Council? Ards and Bangor City Council? Or just the way it is, Ards and North Down? What do you think? Answer on a postcard please. Leave your comments in the comments below. Welcome to Bangor folks, this is it. This is the seafront. Let's skip to the good part folks, let's go to the bar. I'm freezing. There we go folks. We've ended up at the end of the Clumbin Way. We so if you are looking for a dog friendly option, Donegan's at the back or the Popeyes. There we go folks, backpacking through Bangor, would you ever thought it? <laughs> Alright, yeah, that's on nice one. So folks, we're in Popeyes, which is a dog friendly restaurant, bar in Bangor, one of the only few. Got a lovely farm here, look at that. 